12 o'clock on Thursday, October the 28th, 2021, and I'm out here on the fairgrounds of the Gateway Fair in Lake City, Florida. Uh, got completely set up yesterday, and um, it doesn't start until tomorrow, so I've got the whole day off. And it finally, finally, just now, stopped raining. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm finally going to get out and uh, go do some things. So uh, let's start off by doing a little bit of thrift store hopping out here in Lake City. And we'll go to Fernandina and see my aunt, and then maybe go to the beach if the conditions are right. Here we are right there, leaving the, leaving the kitty cat in the uh, tent right there. There's the fairgrounds. Yeah, we're just, uh, it's a day off, so I'm going to treat it like day off, and let's just go have some fun. Well, humidity's rising off the ground like steam. You could feel it if you were here. <laughs> the lens is going to fog up. All right, uh, this one is the Humane Society. It's got a paw print with the words Humane Society below that, and then above it, a Lake City a Thrift Store. Very simple, and handwritten signs in the window. All good signs. Let's get on in there, see what they have. There we go. Okay, already I'm noticing a Teddy Ruxpin been here with a $2 tag. Uh, they normally go for a 75 plus. Anytime I've seen them, even at uh, uh, flea markets. Does it have the cover over the tape on the back? Okay, this. This. <laughs> this is a find. It's, oh, it's working. Oh my word. It's in perfect condition. It's got a $2 tag. I can't believe this. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, stay calm. It's a, it's a Teddy Ruxpin with a $2 tag. Oh my word. That's actually what this is. <laughs> It is an in perfect conditions. Teddy Ruxpin for $2. Got a few other things while I was in there. Uh, first off, a couple of these uh, red square coffee mugs. I had one just like this for a long time that I got very attached to in, in the camper. And as cluttered as things are, it kept getting knocked off the counter and the candle kept breaking off and I was kept gluing it back on with super glue. Um, like three times so it had all these cracks in the handle and then eventually it popped out of the microwave where I had it stowed while I was driving and it got this crack like right here and I was afraid that if I tried to repair it uh, then I would end up drinking a piece of pottery so I had to throw it away and I was sorry to see it go you know how attached to get to uh, your coffee mugs but now I have uh, two of them and for a dollar a piece. So I can leave one in the camper and put one in the studio so I don't have to transfer it back and forth. So that was good to find. Then I found this red Angry Birds hat. This is, the name of the character is Red. It's video game related, so that's kind of up my alley. Uh, I loved the movie. And uh, I need a warm hat for the Christmas season anyway. And it'll match my red jacket. Uh, so I'm gonna be wearing this out at the uh, drive drive through Christmas Light Show Christmas Village over the Smoky Stadium this year. Um, and, oh, a couple of DVDs. I got uh, Knives Out with Daniel Craig. This one is a combination Blu-ray and DVD. Still wrapped in the cellophane. Um, I don't know anything about it. I, I can see that it's rated PG-13, so that's good. Um, and it's got its own, like, Rotten Tomato score right there. It's proud of that. Apparently, uh, so I it was it was three dollars, so that's not a bad deal. I'm not even going to watch the trailer. I'm just going to be completely surprised by it and just watch that probably tonight or tomorrow. Uh, and then I found the Guild season five on DVD, still wrapped again. Uh, if you didn't know, Felicia Day here was a big deal on YouTube for a while with this series, The Guild. Um, and I watched it up to like season three when I. I think they switched writers or directors or something like that, um, and it went downhill a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I didn't even realize they went up to season five, so I kind of lost track of it. 
Um, but yeah, she was such a big deal. She was actually featured in a, in a YouTube rewind one, one year. And, um, so the, the guild ended or at some point that she had this stint on Eureka, the TV show on the sci-fi network. And I don't know what she's doing now. As far as I can tell, all she's doing is just live stream let's plays. Uh, I think she's gotten some kids now and that's taken up most of her time. But, um, yeah, she can still see her every once in a while on YouTube and she's still just as cute as ever. This is one of my uh, nerd crushes from back in the day. So it's going to be nice to catch up with that season five. Um, and then I got a mixing bowl. This one I think is the perfect size for mixing up a uh, waffle mix for my waffle iron there in the camper. And it was, that was $2. And a couple of these like little uh, cookout trays for having cookouts around the studio. These are perfect size for having people walking around with their their hot dogs, their hamburgers, and they're they're easy to wash. Um, they're a little bit more sturdy than the paper plates. Then I got one Jello mold. Hey, don't judge me. I love Jello molds. This one is Tupperware, and it went for four dollars. So I think they're a little more aware of the value of Tupperware. Uh, but this one solves the problem of not being able to get the Jello out because of the suction. Uh, you know how sometimes you gotta run a warm rag around it or something like that and you end up shaking it a lot but this one just has a middle that just detaches right out oh, just like that so I'll make that easy it feels like the sill on it is pretty good it's got that kind of bubbly 80s uh, design to it like a bunt cake or something so I love that uh, one recipe book this one is again for the slow cooker it's hardback and it's got some bonus recipes for the instapot um, I think I paid 50 cents for that, maybe a dollar. And that's it. That's all right. So uh, let's get on to the next one. Next place is Phoenix Electronics. Uh, there's a ton of retro video games in here. I usually come in here every year. Uh, last time I was here in 2020, I thought for sure they were gone. It, like the um, uh, shelter in place thing had shut them down. But. Uh, there must have been something wrong with their Google listing because it actually popped up this year and it looks like they are still in business. So I am happy about that. Let's go on in and uh, see what they got. Hi. Hello. I am good. Uh, she actually recognized me and gave me a really good deal. Said she didn't know what, what happened to their Google listing last year. Made it look like they were out of business, but uh, they're back. Spent a total of $24 and got uh, two games. Let's go over them real quick. This one, Logic Bomb, normally goes for $35 according to price charting, but like I said, she gave me a really killer deal on it. It's a top-down, eight-directional shooter. It's not a twin-stick shooter like Smash TV, and it's not as intense as, as Smash TV either. It's more of a physics-based, logic-solving um, puzzles kind of thing where you get projectiles that bounce around corners, and you get decoys that you have to place out. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, it normally goes for... 35 and I got it for like what 15 yeah $15 and then uh, the game Shadow Master for the original PlayStation I'm pretty sure I don't already have this but if I do it's not that big a deal because it was only eight bucks and this one comes with a in good condition uh, manual it's a uh, science fiction laser based uh, first person shooter it looks like it was made with the same graphics engine as Descent or Forsaken and um, I love both of those games, so I'll probably like this one, too. All right, that's it. On to the next. Well, actually, that's it. Pretty much it for the uh, thrift store today. I'm going to head over to Fernandina now. It's about 5.45 now, and I'm um, on the other side of Florida now, the Atlantic side. I'm at my aunt's house. Uh, oh, there she is, coming to the door. That is where I normally park my camper, right there on the side of the house. Uh, I usually do that in the first quarter. And this is probably the last time this year I'm going to be over here. Okay, so DOS is 15. The smaller the dog, the longer the lifespan, apparently. That's like twice as long as you can get a Great Dane to live. Yeah, yeah, he's about at the top of his age limit for his... Well, oh, he's hopping up on me and everything. Yeah, he's, he's good. <laughs> Still moving around. He's gotten a little fat, though. I'm feeding him some extra food because he's loving his candy, so... <laughs> This is Madison, by the way. This is Hello. 
my cousin Madison. Uh, and she's responsible for decorating the holiday tree, which they've decorated it for. Um, we've done uh, birthday trees. We've done Easter, St. Patty's Day. This one's obviously Halloween. Um, right, Christmas. So, so uh, Easter was like little Easter eggs and yeah, whatnot? Yeah, little Easter eggs. You just snap them on as well. I mean, and I had like a little Easter hat and it had like a little bunny ears and a bunny tail. Uh, it, everything's from Dollar Tree, pretty much. For St. Patty's Day, right? Uh, yeah, so I had little cauldrons that um, they had, a, they had a, put, put gold coins in them. All right, and you also put up the Nightmare Before Christmas yeah, stuff. Yeah, and... Nutcrackers, I'm just noticing and that's what that yeah, is. Yeah, those two and this guy and this guy were all from Walgreens one year. Oh. Um, this was a gift, this was a gift, and I bought him from Disney Springs. I love Disney Springs. Right? What I, character? I'm trying to remember this character from the that movie. That is the vampire teddy bear. He's one of the toys they make. And he floats around and chases the kids. I oh, so right. Much. I've been wanting one. Well, that's, so a, long. that's a deep cut there. I love that. I was thinking maybe it was one of the, the three little kids, the lock, no, shock, and... The lock, shock, and barrel. No. Lock, shock, and barrel. No, but no, that's just one of the... teddy. Okay. I know. I and like then there was the bat that turns into a hat. And... Yes, but the... Yeah, okay, so Vampire Teddy. The rat's too old, they have to use the bat. <laughs> Gonna go in the Jeep, because Aunt Arlene is a Jeep chick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's so. That's baby Athena. Uh, oh, you've named it. Of course. Meeting up with some other family members out here at the Chili's. <laughs> Somebody stab a burger. All right. This is called the Mushroom Swiss. <laughs> He's, he's laughing at me over here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not eating. And the cutaway. I got it a little pink this time. All right. Enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that's going to be it for this one today. It was, uh, it was awesome. And with as special as it was to find that Teddy Ruxman for only $2, I would still say the most precious thing that happened today was seeing my aunt and my uncle and uh, cousin and getting to go have a meal with them and be able to do that one last time before the end of the year. Just too bad. I, it was The weather was too bad to really get out uh, and jump in the ocean one last time. I would have loved to have done that, but I don't think that's going to happen. And uh, that's going to be it. Guys, if you've enjoyed this, make sure to go ahead and indicate so by giving me the, the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications by clicking that bell. And um, talk to you down in the comments and look forward to seeing you in the next one.